The Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360, whoo, lots of words, is a premium laptop with a thin design but very powerful components. Productivity and portability are huge factors for me whenever I buy a new laptop. So with a price tag of $1899.99 from Samsung, I'm going to find out if this can be your go-to on-the-go laptop for productivity. Now this video is sponsored by Delete Me. Learn how you can lessen that data footprint online in just a few. See how I haven't gotten tired of holding this yet? It's so lightweight. The model I have here is the second to highest spec. This SKU includes Windows 11 Home, a Core i7-155H processor, 16 gigs of LPDDR5X onboard RAM, which is soldered, a one terabyte SSD, and a nice 16 inch AMOLED touch display. It's so pretty. Now this SKU does not include an NVIDIA GPU. That one is reserved for the higher price model. In this model, we get the Intel Arc integrated graphics. Now this comes in one color. It's called Moonstone Gray. It's very nice and businessy. It looks very professional. And it does have very few ports. There is HDMI on one side. That's HDMI 2.1A. There are two Thunderbolt 4 ports. On the other side, we have one USB 3.2, and there's also one micro SD card slot and that is just a little 3.5 headphone jack. Other than that, you have power, which is over here. There are no additional ports on the back and that is due to it being a two-in-one. Specifically, you could use this as a regular laptop or you can use it in a tent mode or you can use it in a tablet mode. So cool. Now this is a very thin laptop at 0.5 inches or 12.8 millimeters, and it only weighs 3.66 pounds, keeping it really at a perfect size for a travel backpack or a tote bag. Actual dimensions are on the screen here. Now I appreciate that the laptop has a little notch to make it easier to open with one hand. The display casing is incredibly thin, but it does not flex and it is made with aluminum. It is sturdy and designed well, though there is a little bit of a wobble whenever you put it into position. Given the screen is so thin, even though it does not flex whenever you're moving it about, I would still be really careful with it just for paranoia's sake. Now I have a question. Are you subscribed? If you are not already, make sure to click it down below. It's very easy to subscribe. It's also completely free and it's the best way to support my channel. And if you want to access some awesome perks and bonus content, patreon.com slash Shannon Morse or just joining at the button below this video are the best way to keep these videos free and available on demand. When you use this for entertainment, the display is a 3K dynamic AMOLED 2X screen, which is precisely 2880 by 1800 with an anti-reflective coating, which is very similar to their newest phones. And it's really gorgeous to watch 4K videos on it. And it has this nice high 120 Hertz refresh rate. The display angles look really excellent. I can clearly see what I'm watching no matter which way I turn this thing. It gets pretty dark, which is useful if you're watching something late at night and you're trying not to wake anybody up, and the full peak brightness hits 400 nits. Touch is also supported and the included S Pen actually works really smoothly. Now I don't generally use a stylus for laptop use, but when I was using this in tablet or tent mode, I found the stylus to be a really great option for taking notes. It also includes Wi-Fi 6E, there's also Bluetooth 5.3, there's some excellent AKG quad speakers with Dolby Atmos. Yes, I said quad. The speakers sound so excellent. So again, for entertainment, this is a really, really good machine. The laptop is a 1080p Full HD, so not necessarily a potato. It's on par with other built-in webcams. One of the nice things that you can do with Link to Windows in the Phone Link app is turning your phone into a webcam. Now this requires a Microsoft account and the devices to be sharing the same Wi-Fi network, but this is a very cool perk. And also, since it is Windows 11 and an updated PC, Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft's AI, is also included if you want to use that AI assistance. Now, speaking of AI, sometimes we just want more privacy. We may want to lessen our footprint online, not necessarily add more data to it with AI. That brings me to my sponsor for this video, which is Delete Me. Now, I recently saw a comment that said, well, who cares if somebody knows my email address or phone number? Ah, 
Okay. Unfortunately though, those little tidbits of information are still used to authenticate you. Now this is called knowledge-based authentication. And sadly, some websites and services use stuff like your full name, your date of birth, your phone number to verify your identity. Yeah, so if somebody really wanted to, they could Google your information, find all of this data on a data broker website and use it to pretend to be you when they call customer service and then they get logged into your account. Ugh. Well, luckily a lot of services have upgraded to verify you based on more secure information, but not all. And it only takes one of those accounts getting hacked to cause a giant headache. So there's these companies online, they're called data brokers. They make this KBA data easily accessible and for anybody who wants to find it. And there are hundreds of data brokers out there, unfortunately. It's incredibly time consuming to try to keep up with all of them and opt out of each and every site that you come across. Now I've got stuff to do. I don't know about you, but I'm adulting. I can't keep up with them. So my information security industry friends, friends that are working at real big Big tech companies recommended Delete Me many years ago, and I have been a customer ever since. They actively look for my data on those data broker sites. They send those opt outs for me on a quarterly basis. So I don't even need to keep up with it. I'm a huge advocate for data privacy online. Delete Me is a steal compared to the cost and the stress involved with identity theft, especially since they keep on adding new data brokers to their searches while keeping their prices low. I have a special deal just for my viewers. You can get 20% off with the coupon code SNUBS, that's S-N-U-B-S, automatically applied at checkout for any of their consumer plans. And that does include their newly upgraded family plans too. All you have to do is go to joindeleteme.com slash morse code to get started. Choose however many people you want to protect and for how long and stop the data brokers in their tracks. That's joindeleteme.com slash morse code with the coupon code SNUBS, S-N-U-B-S, for 20% off. Thank you so much to Delete Me for sponsoring my channel and for keeping my viewers safe online. Now, digging more into the components of this model, your Intel Core i7-155H CPU clock speeds at 4.8 gigahertz and the included 16 gigs of RAM and the one terabyte SSD, that's M.2 PCIe Gen 4, by the way, will be plenty for most folks. Now, if you do need more storage, that micro SD card reader can support up to two terabyte cards. If you want to though, you can also access the internal components through some screws underneath the rubber feet and well if you're like me and you have soldering equipment at home nothing is going to stop you whenever you're looking at those soldered components but beware avoiding warranties we don't want that to happen and ssds can be upgraded that part is not soldered whatsoever the laptop itself does come with a ton of pre-installed bloatware tons of samsung apps lots of software so do a clean sweep whenever you get it but if you do intend tend to sync this up with your Samsung phone, like your S24 Ultra, for, for example, then you can use them interchangeably and you will be ready to go on this machine. Since this is also a Samsung machine, Knox is included for security and encryption, and the keyboard includes a responsive fingerprint reader built into the power button. The full-size keyboard is really easy to type on, the backlighting has three levels, and it's a pretty quiet typing experience. Now, assuming that you don't have long nails like I do, these tend to make any keyboard go clickety-clackety. <laughs> We've got low travel thanks to the thin design. Some people might like that, some might not. I am loving the separate 10 key number pad on the side. The trackpad is absolutely gigantic. Like this thing is really big. It's, it's one of the biggest trackpads that I've ever used and so useful for my needs as a video editor. For example, I was editing a, a video for my Sailor Snubs channel and having that big trackpad makes it really easy to scrub through a video timeline. I appreciate having these huge trackpads and laptops, though I realize that's a pretty niche problem to solve. Now, speaking of editing, I am really, really loving using that processor and I was very impressed that it ran my edits so smoothly. It's not powerful enough to run Horizon Zero Dawn with good graphics because you have those integrated app graphics. You can tell the detail in the shadows are kind of limited, especially on the background, but the CPU is plenty powerful to edit my YouTube videos. You will see less than 60 FPS in games. This is not being sold or marketed as a gaming machine though, so I was not really expecting it to look amazing. Now over the 
course of using this thing, when I did a screen on time test, I was able to get the battery to drop from 100% at noon, right, right at 12 o'clock to dead at 5 p.m. in that screen on time test after streaming some 4K videos, editing my own 4K video, downloading some games, lots and lots of power hungry tasks. So general usage would get an even longer battery life. With the included fast charger, you're looking at getting 35% in 30 minutes. It is a big battery though, at 76 watt hour typical. So with normal usage, it's going to last you a work day. And it also comes with a 65 watt charger in the box. So this laptop really combines portability and power for those that need it. Yes, it's going to cost you a few good doll hairs, but if you need that blend, it's pretty compelling. I very much enjoyed testing this laptop over the last few weeks. I love trying out a machine that can do creative work. It has good battery life. It's super super lightweight for such a big screen. All of those things combined just make me a very happy camper. 